So um, I, I've been doing some minor um, fine tunings. Like I added some highlights here, and I made this place a little bit darker. And that's basically what I've done over the time. Um, I've been looking to see if there's any other thing, any other correction that needs to be done. But I think we're good so far. So let's jump into the uh, the hair. The hair is a very uh, complicated, <laughs> really, really complicated process because it took me a while to um, get to this point. But I think with this tutorial, let's see how well I can pass across this message without sounding too complicated. It's still the same process as the skin. That is starting with one layer, adding another and another. But this time, instead of starting with a light color and going dark, we might start with a dark and go light. Please note, I cannot, I cannot overemphasize this. It depends on your style. There is no one style. If one doesn't apply, if one doesn't suit you, you can, you know, experiment and experiment till you find the one that best suits you. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to create a new layer. Of course, the hair. And it's going to be above every other because, you know, this is meant to be under. But, but before I do that, let me show you how far we've gone. We started from the foundation, we started from outlines, and then the foundation, and then we went dark, and then we went darker, and then we went black, and then we went white, highlights, lips, eyebrows, and that's it. That's it. Okay. Let's go with the next one now, which is the create another layer and call it hair. Because this one has a lot of shredded edges, you might not need to use the whip tool, the um, lasso tool. Sorry, we can just go straight to the brush tool and do it manually. How do we do that? Of course, it's going to be with this tool. No, it's going to be with this tool. I'm using this tool because it's, it's it has a lot of dots. If you look closely, when I, when I magnify, you can see how it looks. And this creates a nice effect. You can see like a hair like that. The same kind we used for the eyebrows. That's the one we'll be using. So, since she has more brown hair, we can start with the brown. And then go with the black. And continue with the black. So, don't worry how you start. Just start. I think I get a darker brown. Looks scary, you know. <laughs> Don't be scared. Let's look at it. We have the deep brown, we have the light, highlight brown, and then we have the black here. Yeah. So how we can do all that, achieve all that without messing up, up is what we want to do. Now. Let me just erase this one first. We can also use that same color to erase this side. Now, look at this trick. You see, she has her face is well defined in this place, in all this place. So the trick you can use is what I've taught before. You go to this now, right? Right click and click on it. Sorry, control click on this. You see, it has given us the the masking selection. So what you can do is um. With this selected, once you add eraser, it's just erase straight without affecting the other things. Produced by I hope you got that. If you didn't get that, repeat it again. Control click on this, which is darker, or anyone. You know, we've created a mask from foundation. Foundation is the one we used. So, anyone you select, now it has selected that masking area, and then you just erase. On the hair, of course. And you can see already we have an effect that looks like the hair is growing out of a scalp right here. It's pretty nice. Sorry, let me go back. Um, brush. I've got done it here. So you can see it looks like it's growing out of a scalp. Excuse me.
the layer we call it um, maybe hair dark okay the hair dark will have the darker <sighs> the darker shades mm. let's see if this will work okay see so here I, I control click this so it's not gonna paint anywhere outside what we selected here so that way I can decide to change this to black now to dark okay. now when we're done with this you can still use your singular brush tool to add some more effects but let's just do the overall first okay so like this yeah See that? Let's, let's even. This hair looks like she uses us to cut it. It looks nicer here, but not really that nice here. So let's work on that. It's supposed to be. Okay, let's go back to brown. Let's add some more, first of all. And then we can now go for erase. Oh no, let's mask instead. If you erase, you can't go back. It'll be harder to go back and make adjustments. So let's use masking tool. So select the masking tool and then we can push. So back. So that way we can erase some areas away. Now you can see that this is not looking nice yet. This is a process. It's going to take a while. But it will look nice eventually. Don't worry. Okay. Um, so the dark side. Now, what's next? Let's still do some more. Let's still do some more with this. Brush tool. Now, we can now create another layer and call it Hair Highlight, it is a Hair HL. And this one will have the brighter browns. So if you're doing the hair and then you don't really like the end results, don't be discouraged. Just keep pushing, trying different tactics, different techniques. This this is not perfect even for me, but it's not bad either. Um, not bad, not bad. HL, back to the brighter one. So we can see that this area is a bright. Once we can. All right, we can also now erase some of the outlines. Some of the outlines are helping, but. For places like this place, not have to uh, get away. Also, right here, and help me. There's, there's one here. I don't know what this is. I need to get this away, so I'm trying to isolate. Okay, it's this one. Erase. Okay. <sighs> Next, clothes. So you see, I'm just gonna override, overlap it here. Now, if you don't want it to reflect on your skin, all you have to do is just create another layer under everything. In fact, better, better yet, select all these ones and then Control G and call it uh, face. So you know that it's not gonna disturb you. And this one, call it uh, top, uh, top, and um, 
we can change the color we don't have to go with black and white let's go with um uh, uh purple or pink or something feminine looking so let's go probably with this and then select a pink bucket see that or no more like this so we can we can apply some of these lines to to the dress these lines will help so all we can do is to um, oh the whole thing stops here okay um let's apply some of the lines now you can see i'm able to select multiple points because this has been selected this right here has been selected Doesn't, I was saying it doesn't have to look exactly like this because there isn't any defining uh, feature in this. So, however you want to do it, it's fine. Okay, I'm back now. So now that we've had it all selected. We can create another layer and call it um, white or whatever. And then paint pocket. Let me change this to a lighter pink. And then bam. And so we should not forget about the lines on the edges of the, of the top to make it nicer. So let's work on that. If you're going to do any other thing, this white now should be on the topmost part. If you're going to do any other thing, let's create another layer and call it shade because we are now shading on the dress. Make sure nothing is on the same layer. Okay. okay. First of all, I think outline will first of all surface. So let's do outline. I go to my outline layer, choose black, then all the pattern. Okay, so stroke path. Okay. Now, there's something I forgot to mention. When you use your paint, your um, bro your pen tool, your pen tool only reflects whatever your brush tool is. So if your brush tool is on this grade, it's as big as this, and your flow is like this, now you go to your pen tool. Whatever you've created on your pen tool, and you say fill stroke, that's how it's gonna look. See how thick it is now. So if you want to correct anything, next thing you want to do, go back to your brush, change it to the settings you want, reduce the size, okay, something like this. Okay, something like this. Yeah, and then you can now go back to your pen tool. So any correction you want to make, you do it on your brush tool. When you're done, press enter to remove the guide. Okay, and that's it. So now for the shade, brush, and red thing. Okay. Let's put it above white. Mm -hmm. mm, this doesn't look quite nice. Let me delete and do it again, shade. All these things are not affecting the skin because the skin is above everything in the layer. This is where the skin is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brush. Nothing is the shades of the clothes. It's not easy to see it in this picture because she's wearing black already, but we can try. We can try and achieve something. Mm. Bring back this. Let's know exactly where it is so we don't draw blind okay so the first place was was it the brush the brush is in okay. okay okay so first of all is this you can see one line here Stop and then we see another line let me bring it on that so we see what I do see another line yeah Again. Once again, we have one here. Yeah. 
Anomalinya Anomalinya Oke okay. So now we've seen Where the lines are It's much easier to It's much easier to shade now Let's start with this side Let's start with the right side First of all let's remove this White So we can see exactly what we're doing Okay, I can see that is we missed the highlight right here. So let's go back to the face itself. Highlights, change your brush. Let's go. So I think there is actually no line here, so we can erase the outline. Yeah. Also erase outlines that don't that we don't need outlines that seem ugly like here, we don't need the outlines here. Okay, and next thing is to create the final position oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute look at this this is not nice this is not nice let's let's correct this these edges are not too nice thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you have any questions don't forget to add them in the comment section below and if the questions are um consistent i'll probably do another tutorial to, ex to explain those things but just you can also let me know ways by which i can make tutorial make my tutorials better i appreciate you for watching and thank you this is j mikey signing off produced by j mikey